I got a random question for you. And, and I should have asked you this earlier when you was talking about, um, when we was talking about Nikki. Right. And basically you was talking about her having a ghostwriter, which she clearly denies. Let's just put that out there. She 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 vehemently denies anybody ever writing so, for so, her. So, I don't mean, hold up, wait, on. If she lied and we know she lied. Who says she lied? I thought you said she lied. No, I ain't say she lied. I said she, when 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 that whole thing with Safari came out about, you know, do, doing any type of writing for her, she was like, hell no. Ain't nobody never wrote for me. So I'm just saying when it comes to ghost writers, you made it clear you 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 don't put no artists in that category if they got a go a ghostwriter, right? Right. Okay. What what is your thoughts on Drake? Because it was a whole scandal on him with Quentin Miller, ghostwriting for him. But I mean, it's hard not to put him in top three in hip hop right now. Oh, uh, but 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 put it like this. Drake let it be known. Nicki hiding it. You hear me? Drake let it be known. Nikki hiding it. How do you expect to get rewarded for something? And you hiding the fact. You think Safari just made this shit up? He got money out there. So how do you make it up if, if, if they got money off of it? Come on, we gotta start thinking uh, uh, for ourselves. That's all we gotta start thinking for ourselves. More than milk, see your bones can be strong. No, but yeah, man, I, I just don't think. You no, know, I can't give you that credit that you want when you ain't been that person. I don't give a fuck who wrote your raps for you. You got to own up to it. Be a man. Be a woman. Drake did that. He was being a man. He let us know what what who wrote his song, who did this, who did that. That's what she got to do. And it's too late for her because she don't already lie. And the bobs can get on me like a motherfucker. You know, I love them. <laughs> the bobs. You know the bobs is going to tear your behind up. You already no, no, know no. what's about to happen. No, 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 no. They can do what they want because I know how to ignore it, folks. Shit don't bother me like it bothers regular people. Y'all already caught up in some shit that you never should be caught up in. They gonna talk to this shit all they want. I'm gonna ignore the shit out of there, and then we'll see what they do. The same shit they always do. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Well, put it this way. I'm. I'm gonna tell. In, in as far as I know, Nikki is always denied having any type of ghostwriter. Real talk. No, I always. feel you. I feel you. But I heard and I saw Safari say he did. So who said we going on? Nikki saw Safari. I saw proof with Safari. I didn't see proof with Nikki. So if something got to be going on, and I don't really be on the internet like that, and I saw it. So you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. People just got to go ahead and be real. Keep it real, 100% of real. That's the reason why we getting so fucked up in this life. Because we can't keep it real. You're scared to own up to your own problems. You want to wait on somebody else so you can blame it on them. And a motherfucker could just be stopping by your house and you're going to blame some bullshit on them because you wrote the rap, you didn't write the rap. Safari got receipts. Like I said, I ain't saw her with no receipts. All I saw her with the style of rapping that she was with. Okay, so so question for you before I move this thing on. You cool with Drake because according to you, Drake admitted that he had a ghostwriter. Yeah, because in real life, in real life, when we go sign with a major label, guess what they do for us? If we can't get a hit, they get us a ghostwriter. Ain't nothing wrong with that. She letting it be something wrong with it. If you own up to it, you won't feel the way you feel when someone brings that up. 
Gotta own got up you. to it. Okay, I see where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah, you gotta got own you. up to it. You can't just let that be the way it is. You got to say, yes, I did. And watch how it disappear. But as long as you're gonna say, no, 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 and we got receipts, how it's working out for you like that? I know you're getting your money, I know you're doing your thing. But that's what rappers and artists do when they can't come up with a hit. They have somebody else to do it. So I'm just saying. We know nah. for a fact. I hear you. We know for a fact that he wrote a song. He wrote a lyrics. It was over with a long time ago. He keep on bringing it up. Why? Because somebody else bringing it up and saying what they don't saw uh, action in. You get what I'm saying? They don't, yeah. so, they don't saw that Nicky had a ghostwriter. And it's all good. You know, ain't nothing wrong with having a ghostwriter. She just shouldn't have never ever ran off with that. She shouldn't have never ran off with that, man. She shouldn't have left that alone. It's, oh, I'm going to show you. Once the bars get to messing with me, the only way I'm going to know the bars messing with me is somebody else tell me because they ain't going to pay their ass no attention. They ain't on what I'm No, gonna, they they going to make their presence felt. Trust me. Well, whatever. <laughs> yep, I sent a hundred niggas over their house. Beat their ass. <laughs> I beat all the. No, nah, I'm fucking around. I ain't fucking with them Bob. Bobcat. I don't give a fuck about none of them. I ain't got shit to do with none of them. That's why I said they rap. They have fun with this shit. They can roast me all they want in, in my inbox. <laughs> don't give a fuck. <laughs> all right. Um... I bet okay. they I bet one man one of them saying, I'm a bop. <laughs> I'ma knock his ass. I didn't say anything on that motherfucker. But what did you say, Kim Folk? Nah, nah. I I was about to switch topics. Um I'm just fucking with you. I'm having fun. I need a blunt. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got one. Let me hit it. Ch check it. No, yeah. Uh, I I I I I'm I'm really just flying like a motherfucker. I like Nicki Minaj. I always like the nigga Minaj, but in real life, she can't beat somebody who ain't writing shit down. This girl's saying that shit straight out of her head like that. That's how me and my son do. Straight out the head. At the tip of, no. <laughs> no, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, you know, it's going to be all right. And it's going to be all right for all of us. We just got to start making our own decision ourselves and we can't be afraid to ask for help. No matter what kind of help we trying to get. Off drugs, um, any kind of help, shit. Food. My grandma said, pride. I had you pushing a basket living up under a bridge. Pride. Yep. Tell your ass up every time. Why we yes, see? Yes, it will. Pride come before the fall. Before every the time. Nine, before the fall, dog. Okay, let me get your thoughts on this. Okay. Shannon Sharp, Club Shay Shay. Ah. Uh -uh. Club Club Shay Shay is seriously turning it. I know. I know. Um, the Breakfast Club. That that's the most dangerous t uh, talk <laughs> show. <laughs> in the world, but Club Clay Shay Shay is really coming for that title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is turning out to be the most dangerous podcast in the game. Every week, somebody going on there and airing somebody out at this point. Oh, I need to go now, there and I want to air Juicy J ass out. Well, I thought you did that a little early in the conversation. No, we're going to keep on doing that shit until you say something back. Tell him they going to say I was just fucking with you or something. He know how to do this shit. It's not nothing. I'm, 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 every podcast I be on, I'm going to say his name until he say my name back. And it's still going to be love. We ain't going to do no boxing. We ain't going to do no shooting niggas up. We ain't going to do none of that. We just going to laugh and get out of all of it. And we going to be still living. That's what the young folks do. Remember he said, uh, what's that? What's, what's that? He said, this is all you need, right? Yeah, that's all you need. You don't need nothing else. You're scared, then okay, you do need something else, but. Okay. 
Monique. My girl. Monique. I fuck with Monique. I, uh, no, I do too. Our girl. Yeah. I, I, was... I think I think everybody loved Monique. Yeah. But Monique. Is she she Monique is gonna let you know what's on her heart. And that's the number one She's... thing. When you get older and you got something on your heart, you can kill yourself. Worrying about something that ain't worried about you. So she did right. She been doing right. She always been doing right. I think she's doing great, even attacking their ass because they know they got their money. And you don't want to help your sisters and your brothers out. And remember when you was coming up, you were saying this. And I'm, you know who I'm talking about, the people who she was talking about. When, when you was coming up, it was all good. You wanted to see your black people rise. But just as soon as you got enough fucking money, when you can pay a bunch of black people, you stop doing it. You didn't do it. You buy motherfucking cars. You get a car. You get a car. Hey, where my car at? They motherfucking park that those. Come on, man. We got to be for real. We got to start praising the people who really need it. Not the people who faking like they need it. They want it so they can have a little more power. And they already got all the power. Some greedy motherfuckers. <laughs> I swear they some greedy motherfuckers. Nobody want to see you with a bankroll. And that's some shit you fold. Oh, give me the money that's flat. That's in stack. Well, here's the deal. Monique did what Monique does. Didn't hold her tongue. Mm -mm. Has strong words for D.L. Hughley. You talking about you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. Oprah Winfrey made that famous, and of course, Monique got strong words for her. No, Monique turned her ass up. I, I, Taraji ooh. and Tiffany Haddish. First and foremost, did you get a chance to catch that interview with Shannon Sharp? Yeah, I saw it. I watched it the other night, last night, I think. Yeah, I watched it. I'm Monique fan. I'm precious. No. <laughs> Yeah, but first and foremost, did you realize it was this much beef? Like, we, me and you, we've been talking about beef in the rap game. Did you realize it was this much beef in the comedy game? Like, these is dudes yeah, who yeah, spend their life making us laugh. I didn't know it was this much beef behind the scenes. Man, uh, Cat Wiz used to be on this shit called uh, Tiny Chat. It was Cat Wiz, it was Dope Fat. TV, you know, Dope Fat is the dude who was making the music for uh, some of the beats he was making for Puff Daddy. The big dude, he had to walk on across there and get the cheese. The big who Tony Dope Fat? Yes, Tony Dope Fat. We had shout, shout to Tony Dope Fat. Yes, big shout out to Tony Dope Fat. Look, we had me and Cat Williams was off in that room he had on Tanner Chat, which was called a Dope Fat, and um, Cat Williams went in. I was like. I wasn't even on that motherfucker at this time, but I left my computer open, like a little bit. You get what I'm saying? And I heard Cat Williams, and that was on Tainted Chat. On, uh, we changed it to Dope Fat, and he talked it so bad about Paul and Juicy, and, 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 and said a lot of shit about them that they felt like um, he felt like they did me wrong. And a lot of folks feel like that, but you know, hey, you're supposed to be on your ten. Not only seven. 